is up guys? As you can see, I got myself a new mask. If you didn't see my other video about how I basically lost my eye, you should check that out. But I've got my proper PPE on this time, and we're back working on the boat. So let's take a look and see what I have got done since we last spoke. As you can see, the boat is upside down again, and the reason I did this was so that I could fill in these back corners. You may remember seeing those big voids where I cut the hole too big in the transom. Well, now I have flipped it back over and bridged this whole gap with fiberglass. Still need to do some final touch-up and sanding. It's only cut down with 60 grit right now. But uh, just to show you, all sealed up here. So I feel like I can officially call the whole thing bonded. So let's take a look at the other side. I'm gonna flip it back over here and show you what I got done on the top. So you don't need a gym membership, you just need to get yourself in way too deep on a vintage jet conversion boat and you'll do all the head lifting you need. So I got to flip back over here. You can see I have put a piece of Phylon underneath of that big hole I had here. I was originally going to try and keep this little rondelle right here um, to put an emblem on, but it was just becoming too much of a pain so I took it off. It's going to be smooth. We'll put some uh, grip step or something over the back of the wave runner portion here. and then. Got everything molded on the sides, got this whole center piece across the transom molded back in. That was the one I was cutting when the piece flew up, so take that. And if you look inside, ah, what is that? It's water, because it holds water again. But now I need to reinforce and Rebuild that whole transom area back there. And then we can put our motor back in. Another process that I have started to work on is cleaning up the 787 Rotax engine. As you guys saw earlier, it was pretty dirty when it came out of the ski. I started by disassembling the engine and getting everything completely down to its bare cast aluminum pieces and sorting out all the rest of the tidbits and making sure I took photos of everything along the way so that I wouldn't forget how to put it all back together. After that, I put all of the parts into a metal garbage can that I had sealed with silicone to make sure that it would not leak out my solution. I filled it up with a mixture of water and simple green and put a camping burner underneath of it and let it sit for several hours. This heats up the solution and helps get a lot of the grime and uh, nastiness off of the engine. So now that I have this process complete and finished wire brushing everything, I can start putting the engine back together and get it back in the boat. Thank you for checking out this latest update on the shed ship. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to always wear your safety equipment and we'll see you guys next time.